Good morning. It's Sunday. Hold on tight. Because I don't want you to fall over. Because you might. <laughs> My son ordered me a phone case. Hopefully it works. Anyways. Um, good morning. How is everybody doing? On my way to work. And it's warm out already. I guess it's going to be 95. And extremely humid today. I don't know the humidity percentage, but it's extremely humid in my bra sticking out of my shirt. Um, I had a really delicious breakfast this morning. And if you look at it, it looks really disgusting. But I just kind of added everything together into a big bowl. Because for some reason, I just love just eating out of the bowl. Like with a spoon. With whatever. It's just easy for me. But I had some kale salad mix. You know the, you know the kale salad mix you get at Costco in the big bag? Well, I love that mix. And then I throw away the, the, the dressing part of it. You know, with all the, you know, the dressing and the seeds and all that stuff. I throw that away. And then I take the salad and I chop it all up. So I just take like a couple of handfuls of that. And then I had a small head of romaine lettuce and I cut that all up. And I was batching, I was doing a um, batch cooking some sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot. So that was done. I said, you know what? I think I'm going to have a sweet potato. So I took a small sweet potato because I made like seven sweet potatoes and I'm like, oh, I'll just make it an even six. <laughs> so I took the sweet potato. Hold on dear. Hold on. Um, I took the sweet potato and took the skin off and then I mashed that all up into the kale salad mix, right? So then two minutes later, as I was waiting, you know, waiting for my coffee to be done, I, my steel cut oats, which what I was going to have in the first place for breakfast, that was done in the Instant Pot. So I took a huge scoop of the steel cut oats and then I threw that on top of the sweet potato kale salad. Yes, I know. It sounds disgusting. And then I poured, hold on, taking a turn. Um, then I poured... I had some lemony balsamic vinegar that I got from California Balsamics. I absolutely love their vinegars, but they're just expensive, so I only can get them every so often, and I have to use them sparingly. <laughs> but anyway, I put in two tablespoons of that, mixed it all up, and you know what? It was pretty damn tasty. It really was. So tasty, I just spit over everything. So, it looked gross, but it was pretty good. So that was my lunch. And I'm so full, honestly, I probably, now I ate that at 7.30. I probably won't even have lunch now until one. <clears throat> and I probably won't even be hungry, but I have to eat anyway because I cannot be hungry. I know a lot of people think that they need to be hungry to lose weight, but I cannot be hungry at all. Hold on. Yep. So, I have all kinds of snacks. You know, not snack snacks. I have fruits and veggies. Um, Jeez, I'm terrible at parking. Holy mackerel. I have fruits and veggies um, for snacks. And I brought in the leftover potato salad. Um, potato salad that I made. What else do I have? I, f my v I brought in some cherries because that was left over from yesterday. I have summer squash I cut up and I have um, a bag of cherry tomatoes. What else do I bring? I don't know. Hopefully I remember to take pictures. For some reason I always forget to take pictures on Sunday. So, all right. Well, I have got to go into work. I don't really feel like it, but I have to. <sighs> I will talk to you when I get out of work. Maybe. If not, see you tomorrow. Oh, have a great day.
Stay on plan and eat more greens. See ya. word for today is meat. Many people are so convinced that meat needs to be part of our lifestyle and they are right. Is it just that they have misspelled it? We must meet together, have a meeting of the minds, meet on common ground, and meet the needs of one another. Being a part of the, a community is a wonderful place to do all of those things and we had a great opportunity to do that yesterday at Esther's Nutritional Journey Luncheon to celebrate the success of everyone there. I met many from this group for the first time and it felt like we had been friends for a long time. We are not alone. We are not the only ones striving to enjoy a whole food plant-based lifestyle. We are touching the lives of everyone we meet spreading the good news of how to be our best and heal our bodies from the ravages of meat. We will continue to meet up together in the future. Share your ideas and suggestions and let's make it happen.